So this summer I'm studying abroad in Lacoste. Um, it's a small village in southern France. Um, all nestled up on this little hill, there's a chateau at the top, and um, we get to take um, whatever your major is here. You get to take classes in that major, and for me it's film, and um, yeah, I was gonna pretty much dance around France <laughs> and do what we're most passionate about, um, which is so exciting. I was able to kind of just use my imagination in ways that I haven't been able to in film yet, um, because it, normally you have to like, tell a, a story, a narrative story, um, but now, I, but in experimental film, it was just like I could do whatever I wanted and um, it, didn't, it didn't matter. It really didn't matter. You could create anything. It could be the weirdest, craziest, creepiest thing, and it would it would work. So that was great. Um, and then my other class, I did design time, which is basically how um, it's capturing a art piece in time. Um, and so my experience in that class was really cool because I've never done anything like that. It was very similar to my experimental class. Um, but I've never had to create art that you have to experience in a given amount of time. So um, I think it was very similar with, or I think it was a good test for me to see how I could push myself um, out of my normal creative boundaries. So my favorite thing that I made this quarter was my final film, which was a double exposure um, yeah, it was a double exposure experimental film uh, that was inspired by a Robert Frost poem called The Road Not Taken. And um, I just had a, um, a model pose for me and I digitally um, overlaid them so that um, she was going at different speeds and doing different things at the same time. And it really, I, I felt like it had a lot of me in the piece. Um, when I watch it, I get excited and I kind of get emotional because there's so much that I put into it and I love so many things about it that maybe people don't see um, and it has a lot to do with my experience here in Lacoste and um, I don't know, it's just, it, looking back at that I know in the future will be really special to me and I think I'm going to hold on to it for probably my whole life. I'm one of those cliche people. I think it did change a lot. I don't think it, I'd say it changed my life, but I do think it changed my career trajectory. Um, I came in thinking I was going to do one thing, and I've left completely thinking of another thing. Um, and I'm really excited to head down that path. I'm much more passionate and excited about this new career route than I was my other one. And I think it gives you a lot of time to contemplate and reflect. There is a ton of alone time here. And so I was allowed to just really think about what I'm doing at SCAD and what I want to do in the future. And um, I do think it's, it's a really good time to change your life if you want to, if you want to do that. Coming to Lacoste, I didn't come with many expectations, but I would say Honestly, it's, it's been kind of mind-blowing. It's a whole different culture, a whole different um, atmosphere that we're in. So I feel like a lot of it has just been learning new experiences and trying to let go of what I'm used to and um, really incorporate myself into life here in the cost. But it has been hard, especially um, when you go out and you, people only speak French. It gets frustrating because you don't know how to converse with them and you want to. Um, but it also has been really cool to be exposed to a new language and something that I like I'm not used to at all. You can go to Switzerland, you can go to Spain or Italy and it's just a little train ride away. Um, but it's kind of like closed in and so it other than bus systems and maybe if a class takes you on like a ELO or a expedition field trip, then um, you don't really get out and so it can kind of become mundane every single day. In your classes, it, it's a little bit hard to like meet everybody. And because it's such a small group, I would have loved to have things to do um, on the weekends or um, something like that, other than like ELOs, extended learning opportunities where we could go out to um, different villages or places close by and get a really 
um, more in-depth look at the art around us um, or the architecture around us. Um, we would normally go and spend a whole day in a new village or new city um, and really experience some really cool places that maybe you heard about in your history books growing up or, um, or that just are some of the most world-renowned places. Like we went to Van Gogh's um, Insane Asylum, <laughs> which is just crazy being there. Um, and you, it's such a unique experience. You would never really get to do that. Um, so yeah, I think every single YOLO is worth going to and let the experiences happen. I would say just let go of any past uh, lifestyle that you had. Just kind of learn a new way of living here because you're not going to have the same food. You're not going to be able to do the same activities. You're not going to be able to literally do anything normally. And so I think now is a really cool experience to learn new habits and um, just kind of come in with that with a very open hand um, and if you live down um, in Maison Bass um, so not in the upper village um, there would be times where everyone would come down and watch a movie outside on the um, on a projector or there would we'd have open mic nights and it was just so fun um, being in our dorm room with like the windows wide open and my roommates and I would be like, dancing around the room or we would just um, just be watching from outside the window it felt very fairy tale like and kind of surreal to be in France watching out of our window um, these like beautiful moments happening so I think my one word would be charming I've thought it every single time I walk through the village I walk down to, in, into any house that's here or just look out into on the mountains and I'm like this is so charming it's such a unique place and it just charms you you fall in love with it even if you don't want to there's no I feel like you don't really have a choice but to fall in love with it here and um, we've been talking about like some of some a friend of mine was talking about how they're kind of experiencing pre nostalgia and, and I really feel like that goes in line with like this charmed feeling that I feel um, and I think I'm gonna look back and be like wow France just charmed me just through and through I fell in love with it <laughs>